Do, 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 do. So work for you guys. The reason why, you know, I'm sharing all these stories because I really want you to get inspired by what you can and cannot do because law of attraction, your reality start from your, your, your vision, right? You have your vision and then you have your strategy, your plan, then you have clarity, then you have focus, then you go, right? Otherwise you just drive the car with a GPS. You need to know why. So we must know why we want what we want to be able to manifest because yeah, if you don't even tell the universe how, like, if I'm going to give you money, how much money do you want? Uh, mm, 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 bye, see you later, right? So if we're not activating from our heart, then our meta-programming will sabotage our well-being. Our ego will run the old habit pattern programming to keep us maintained at the current level keep us within our salary range. That's why I had this 50K and I, I had a coach once because I was like, how come I only have 50K all the time? Even though I have investment and network, but then my, my cash flow is always 50K. It's so weird. I just never have more than 50K, but my, my husband had money. So all together we have a six figure, but that's not really matter. But like for me personally, every money I'll, I'll put it somewhere. I'll, I'll invest, right? So my network can grow crazy, but then I just don't have a lot of money. Um, so I did a money, money coach myself to heal my own money wound. And then I unblocked and then I realized what happened. There's a weird story I'll, I'll tell you later. So there's a weird story that one day after the story, I decided this is my money. Oh my God, that is so crazy. And um, so I had to let that go and then do a lot of cleansing and healing and affirmation and to clean that. And so now I broke that finally. So it was amazing. Before I knew that, I, then I look back my life there's so many chances I could get a promotion. So many chances I get a new, new job or a business proposal or business something, whatever, will, will get more money. My ego will say no to those stuff to keep me stuck in 50K level. And I look back and say, oh my God, holy shit, I just say no to all of this stuff because I did not allow. I wasn't allowed. I can't allow. My, my range is 50K. So I can never get more than that. It's so weird. So if we, let's say, if, if we have been earning, uh, let's say a few thousand dollars a month your whole life. Let's say you make 2K a month or 3K a month or 8K a month or 10K a month, right? Or 9K. Our brain is not wired to receive the blueprint from someone who earns six figure a month. You just cannot imagine how, how can you make 130K a month? Like you'll be like, that's my yearly income, right? And we'll probably never, never be make friends with someone who make a million a month right? Because our vibrational is not much. We'll probably never make friends with someone who is a billionaire. Because when they say something about billionaire, they have a different mindset, they have different investment strategy, they'll be like, that's too risky, that's horrible, right? Ego, ego, ego. Because our vibrational is not much. You can tell from the five people you hang out with the most, Jim Ron said, think about the five people you hang out with the most. How much they make are they similar to you? If your parents are not rich and wealthy right now don't listen to them i know they're your parents but don't listen to them right because if they are rich they should be rich already if they tell you to be a good guy study well get a good job be an employee and be rich why didn't they be rich right so break that break that so um go i may not have time for you to write this i'm going to smash through so write down how much you want in financial outcome, I want a number figure. I want, let's say, I want every year 200,000 a year, 400,000 a year, half a million a year, have a number, or every month. I want 10K month, or 20K month, or 50K month, or a lump sum. I want to have $2 million, right? Write it down because the universe has to give you, you have to order it, order it. And then why? Because if you say, I want $10 billion, why? What is $10 billion? I mean, you, do you even know how to use it? right? You need to add meaning to it, a strong why. Otherwise, you fall, fall back because you can say, I'm going to make a 20K month and then, oh, it's too hard. Blah. And then you will go back to making 2K. So, and then ha, who, who do you need to be, right? Because if you're on Centrelink right now, your mindset is Centrelink. You, you cannot 
suddenly become a millionaire because you might have some money blockage and saying that, oh, all the rich people are greedy, all the rich people are dodgy. You might have that in you, right? So you're going to claim that and become that, right? Rich people donation so much money, they financial payers, right? Pink donate half a million dollars to a bushfire. I love, I love pink, right? So you can be artistic, you can be musician, you can be talented, and you can still be wealthy. So who do you need to be? And how will you get it? Works are easy. Action is the next step. Okay, so really write it down. How are you gonna get it? Because you can just say, I'm gonna make a 20K month. Nothing. How are you gonna make a 20K month if you're making 2K right now, right? How, 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 right? Write a plan and, and then expect fears. Fear will come. Fears, obstacle, and limited belief will come. I'm not good enough, I can't do it. Um, who am I to coach? Who are gonna pay for my package? I can't do sales, I'm suck at marketing, I'm suck at money, um, I can't invest, I can't afford, right? Your dreams live outside of your comfort zone. Your, 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 your dreams are here. Your comfort zone is here. When you face fear, good news, you're about to break your comfort zone. Just break that tiny step. Dream, okay? Um, and also the, the last one, write down who will help you to achieve it. We cannot do this alone, cannot. I've done it before. All my Bitcoin and the investment and three and a half years ago, I did the, the wedding photography business with Derek. Well, lucky I got Derek. So Derek is handling all the photography, editing um, side of thing. And I handle all the business marketing, website, uh, SEO, everything non, non photography. It was hard. So I was Googling, how do I make a UI? How do I make a website? How do I? WordPress and I went to all the WordPress reference uh, pre preferences over uh, the conferences. I went to WordPress and um, enrichment, so they have something called Launchpad. I go there every week to to learn how do I write a, a WordPress uh, uh, right hard. And now I have a mentor. I, I hire a business coach. Oh my gosh, there was so much time. I just launched my business in three months, right? So don't do it alone. Uh, like that, the 10k crypto mentor that I did. I'm so glad that I had him. Now that I'm like, I'm sleeping so well. So make a list of people who can help you achieve your goals, including mentor, coaches, friends, supporters, business partner, and the kind of everybody, right? So when me and Derek, we were do together doing the photography, I know that I can count on him doing all the photography stuff. I know he will learn, he will practice, he will do his stuff, and he know that I will go get his client, right? Um, but we, I was dingy. I did not pay for a mentor or coach and marketing. I was so cheap. I was doing everything myself, right? The hard way, learn the hard way. Um, but you can, you can now. So write down who will help you. And also I remember when I started my photography business, my own husband and saying, who are you? You don't even know how to use a DSLL camera. You use an iPhone, like who are you to take photo? Who are you to charge for 5K? Like my own husband, like with love, with love, he warned me. Right, a few friends of mine say, "Oh, I've been photographer before, so hard. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it." No, they can do it, not me. Right, you can do it. No one can stop you from your dream. Right, so hang out with the people who will support you. So now, um, yeah, let's say uh, Derek say, "Yeah, now my parents ask me financial advice." <laughs> Yeah, and Derek helped them buy the first Bitcoin, right? Because I told Derek, and Derek, you know, when I told you it was 600 bucks, and then when you buy it, it was like 2,000. You, you missed it, right? You, you're shaking your head. And when you actually really, really buying, it was 6,000. You, you literally missed the whole tenfold bowl, right? And then now your parents have six figures sitting in the bank doing nothing. They probably can't. Um, and uh, yeah, so... Yeah, thank you, Maya, for asking and uh, answering Julia, starting to ask yourself, 100K, 200K, 500K. Yeah, get the number. Um, yeah, Wendy said, um, avoid the naysayer. Why do they nays naysayer? Because they're jealous. They don't have the courage to break their comfort zone. And so they stop you. You're not allowed because I don't have it. You can't have it too, right? Haters gonna hate. Let them be, let them be. You, you do your thing. You do epic. You cannot do basic shit. You do epic thing, okay? So ditch them. They will fall out if they they cannot if they cannot handle your success they fall out if they love you so much you you hold their hand and you know put them together all right so oh 950 your first bitcoin yeah see um yes well sometimes the naysayer can motivate us to maya say yeah actually you're right yeah um very good now let me just keep going 
So I'm gonna smash through this stuff now because we have like 10 minutes, sorry. Is that okay? All right, so, whew, um, yeah. Uh, uh, did I miss something? No, all right. Yeah, so you, yeah, you're, you're chosen to be you. You're so want to explore, okay? Just, just don't play safe, don't play safe. You, you cannot make everyone else wealthy if you're poor, all right? When you show up as a leader, you shine your light and inspire others to raise their standard too, okay? High standard equal high results. If you play small, you will just shrink and in a bubble, right? And what if you fail? It doesn't matter, right? We just grab this soon, just come here to play. And we, we, you are not living in this big city in 2020 to play small and shrink. You expand, you expand. You come here to play and have fun. You are powerful consciousness. Okay, don't be lazy, show up, don't be lazy, don't be scared, don't get fear, get out of the way, it doesn't matter, right? If you fear and stuck, just think about the last five years, if you still not, still fear and stuck and not investing in yourself, you're going to be stuck the same way in the next five years. Do you want that? If you want that, fine, but I don't, right? So when you show up and you start eating healthy, you start exercising, you start doing you know, your hair or whatever, and then you start you know, do your business and you start investing in yourself, you, you will inspire others to not get the fear in their way, right? Because you are loved. You come from love. So shine bright like a diamond. Um, how to buy inside? Now, most of you guys are in Australia, so there's three ways to do. You can buy from exchange or peer-to-peer -peer or switch platform, okay? Um, so these are just examples. You can just Google them. Uh, these are the ones that are quite good so far because some of them die. Just re remember, be careful, don't research. So I use BTC Market. I've been using them for five years now. Um, I know them now, well, I don't know them, but like, yeah, they, they, they're pretty good. So I use BTC Market in Australia. Hong Kong people, I know my sister and some of my friends, they use Thai Bit in Hong Kong. Um, you can also, I got some in eToro, I have eToro account as well. Um, so yeah, these are the, so I know there's an American client, she used, uh, so she loved Kraken um, customer service, but she somehow her state not allowed or something. And so she's now using um, CEX.io. She also have a Coinbase, but Coinbase have a higher fee. So do, do your research. At the beginning, in five years ago, I've done so much research, like crazy research. Um, so I chose some PDC market now. Um, I, I have country, I have contra, jar, I have, yeah, something. Anyway, so then the second, so, okay, the pro about pros and cons exchange is that they are usually bigger. Find the one that has some um, longer history. Find the one that already been through the last cycle. So don't find the one that's so, so new because they can just close down business. Find the local one as well because if they, if they shut, if, if you find some offshore one like based in the uh, Philippines or based in Indonesia, they can just gone, right? So find one that is more um, trusted, but also do not put your money in there. Just do not stay the money in there. I'll, I'll show you in a second. Uh, you can do peer to peer. So you can do local Bitcoin. So literally, let's say you want to buy from me, I can sell it to you. So what I, so the, um, okay, two, we just ask, um, uh, what are these companies, like people, can, can, can you just say it? Yeah, so um, these, so are these companies, people that we buy the Bitcoin or cryptocurrency from? So um, hypothetical, if, if I was looking to purchase flights, I, these, these are like similar to different tra um, uh, travel agencies. Like this is where I go to buy the, the goods. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, similar like that. Um, there's so many companies. So okay, this is like exchange. Let's say you go to um, a travel. You want to go go to exchange a currency. You may you may find the you know the airport. They have the what's it called Thomas Cook? Not Thomas Cook. The, the right. You can travel and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can find, let's say you can go to Western Union to exchange, let's say you go to America, you can change American dollar by whatever exchange, right? So what you do is that you compare the exchange rate and then the transaction fees and are they fast? Do they have money? Because some, let's say I go to Hong Kong and then I'll, I'll, I usually go to Hong Kong and then I'll exchange money, Australian dollar in Hong Kong, right? Um, because you, they had a quotation. But if I do too much money, they don't. 
So you're gonna find the one that has big money that they can do. If not, you do OTC. So as I say, over the counter. Um, so for example, I went to Cambodia and I did not know they actually use American dollar because apparently that Cambodian dollar is like worthless. I did not know. So I, I, I exchanged a whole bunch of Cambodian dollar and then I did, I'm stingy. So at the end, I have a whole bunch left that I did not use, all, all of them. Derek knows that because we went to Japan last year and I was so stingy. And at the end, I have Japanese dollar back. I did not use them all, right? So I'm, I'm just so cheap. So I'm changing it now, it's not, not, not anymore because I realized the more I don't give, the more I don't get back. So now my money is like flowing because now I give. So anyway, so when I was in, in Cambodia um, and then I had money left, I come back to Australia. Well, I come back, I went back to Hong Kong first. So I stopped in Hong Kong. No one to Cambodia money. And then I was like, oh dude, there. And then I, I went to back to Australia. No one to Cambodia money. So I literally just have like, I don't know, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, like, Cambodian money left and I'm like I should have just donated in Cambodia like now I have like worthless money on my hand right now in Australia so these exchange are same thing so you're gonna find one that can liquid you um for now just keep it simple BTC market I know people do peer-to-peer -peer. so um so back in the days I know this guy so he he is he's a Bitcoin billionaire he has like whole heaps of money in Bitcoin and avoid tax don't do it I, I i do it properly because i talk to my tax accountant I, I just pay tax i'm just not gonna do the headache and stuff right so but if you can you want you can avoid tax so that guy somewhere he he travel everywhere and what he does is that I, i'm not sure local bitcoin or whatever how he find it so one of my friends he's um he lives in korea and he realized he's australian uh, he you know, he realized in korea the exchange rate is higher so what he does is because he still have an Australian um, account, he buy from Australian account cheaper. He sell it in Korean exchange, expensive. He literally just cyber charge for a whole month. So he's a PhD guy. He's a doctor. Like he he researched for cancer, right? So he was researching in Korea. But at the side business, he was advertising his Bitcoin. Um, and then so he buy cheap in Australia, sell high in in um, in Korea slowly 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 accumulate a big money and then he found this guy so this guy um traveling everywhere he's retired so what he, this guy do is that he say i will sell i will sell my friend bitcoin cheaper than the whatever the market price so my friend fly to europe and then buy cheap bitcoin off this guy and then he said this whole trip was paid for because he buying it cheaper so this whole trip was paid for and he even got some cheaper Bitcoin for that guy. It doesn't matter because that guy bought the Bitcoin for $1 and he sold it for, I don't know, 7K. So let's say now it's 10K, just, just make it fun. So let's say now it's 10K. He bought it for a dollar. He said, I'll sell it to you, says 7K. He still makes 7K, right? So for my friend, he saved 33K, right? And yeah, so literally that people do, do this. So this rich guy, basically just everywhere, I'm just gonna sell one and you know, whatever, and I'll just go. And so you can do that. So I know some people live off Bitcoin this way. And I also know the other guy. So he, he, um, he sold his Bitcoin for $4 million, Australian. He's in Queensland, young guy. And he sold it for $4 million. Um, he did not buy $4 million. He, was, he worked in Kmart, okay? So he worked in Kmart and then he'd been like, investing crazy 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 he threw gold because came out you don't make a lot of money from came out but he was doing his stuff for years um friends laughed at him he was you know eating a uh, lunchbox or whatever and so he sold it for four million dollar he paid eight hundred thousand dollars in, in tax because my tax accountant do his tax so he told me the story so he paid eight eight hundred thousand uh, dollars in tax so he take home three point two million and what he does is he bought a house in Queensland, so his house paid for. And then he bought one house in Switzerland for his mom. His mom's house paid for. And then he bought one more house somewhere, get rent money. So he's now literally living off the rent money, right? And he doesn't have to, he's still young. He doesn't really do crazy things. He's still a young guy. Um, and he's trading. So now he's trading and then get even more money, right? So there's many different ways you can do it. That's why I, I help my client to do a strategy. Like how, how do you want to, how do you want to cash out? Because buying is easy. Tomorrow you can just go buy it. After this class, you can just go buy already. But how do you want to cash out? How long? How much? 
how much risk tolerance can you lose the money can you have the stomach to the oven because i'm telling you right now it's going up everything is rosy we're very happy it will go down and then you will get panicked because i i've been there so anyway so uh, yeah there's many ways to do it it's okay okay I'm, I'm over time but can i get through to the wallet and thing all right i'm gonna say yes you guys are still here um oh martin said so you dropped for another call um bye martin um so yeah, Maya said, when was the last cycle? The last cycle peak was 2017. That's why it went up to 20K and then come back down. So I, I teach a cycle later as well. Um, I think I don't think I have the time to do a cycle. Um, yeah, how's it get through the, the crypto winter? Yeah, crypto winter cycle. So we have spring, summer, autumn, winter. How can you spot? How do you know? And when it's winter, when it's summer, how can you tell? How can you get maximum money? Because you can also swing trade. Many ways to do it anyway. Whew. Let me just quickly do this. Now, wallet, don't lose money. Now, um, let's play again. The safest way to, do, to, to store your crypto is the hardware wallet. Um, it's called, um, I think I have some here. So it's called Ledger Nano S. So I bought a whole, whole bunch. Every one of my clients will get one because safety first. So you will get, um, a hardware wallet and i'll tell them how to do what to do like how to store the money it's the safest one but this is not cheap so you have to buy it right so you have to buy it but it's safe um then you can do so literally you can save for two types hot wallet or cold wallet hot mean people can hack it easier to access easy to go in and out but also mean easier for people to hack your money number one rule don't get hacked because there's professional hacker out there hacking your Bitcoin. They're professionally every day hacking Bitcoin. That's their, their job, okay? So um, this is cold wallet. Cold means this is offline. Um, yeah, so Wendy asked, where can you buy this hardware wallet? Just go to Ledger Nano, Ledger Nano, I forgot the name. Uh, just Google Ledger Nano, they don't have a website here. Um, yeah, buy it and they'll, they'll ship it to uh, DHL. I think this one is 120 US, uh, Australian dollar. So 120, so I bought a whole heap. Um, so you can do that. And then you can do hot wallet. You can do desktop wallet. You can do um, mobile wallet. So essentially, a wallet is uh, simply is an app or websites or device that manage your private key. Remember I told you, your Bitcoin is literally a whole bunch of password. So for a while I was testing so many styles. So I had paper wallet. What I did was that I actually I literally write down a whole bunch of number. That's my Bitcoin on a piece of paper, right? You can actually do that because it's offline. It's never, never, never online. Essentially that receiving the QR code is like your bank account, right? So treat this as your bank account. You can give it to anyone, right? So pay me, PayPal, whatever, um, the, uh, the keyword or the seed or the password or the private key, that is where you hold your money, okay, your Bitcoin. So that is the one, do not never, 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 never give it to anyone. So, so if anyone access to that uh, private key, they get your coin, they literally get your coin. So it's a piece of number, okay. So be careful, do not do it at the round. So some people accidentally, expose their private key rather than their, their public key. And that's how they lose money. All right, so many, many ways. So, but literally, that is your best Bitcoin. See, it's easy, right? You guys can be in Cambodia, can be in everywhere. What happened was, um, I think it was two years ago, Derek knew the story. Um, our makeup artist from Venezuela, I'm sorry, I can never say that country's name. So she was from Venezuela, and if something happened into her country, and then her, her, their money just devaluing so crazy. I think they were one of the politicians died or something. And then some other politician come and there's some dictator gone, gone out. Um, so but basically, their money devaluates so much that their family has to raise. When they get paid, they have to rush to the supermarket to buy food because they they uh, hyperinflation. So what happened was that morning, my makeup artist was crying. And I was like, what, what, what's wrong? And then she said, something happened in her country. Literally, she's a real life person, educated. The country is actually well loved. It's not a poor country. Venezuela is actually a really good country. And what, what happened was, um, yeah, they, they have this stuff going on. 
Um, and because my makeup artist is in Australia, she sent Bitcoin from her phone to the uh, mother, brother, sister phone, saved them, literally saved them. Like this is what Bitcoin is, freedom, right? So it's not just about, I'm going to make some money financially. There's whole, there's, yeah, like a deeper, bro. It's your freedom. That's why I, I'm, I'm really, I really don't want to do the central bank money, but I think eventually I will, we will have to, if I want to live in the matrix. So I'm actually really thinking within two years, we're going to be in microchip, like dogs and cats. We're going to be microchip either on our, our wrist or our brain or our eye. I think it's coming within the five years. And then literally we will, have to report everything about me, my financial trans transaction, my, my first phone son, everything to the system, and then they'll give me the money. And otherwise, you know, they can freeze me, they can, you know, uh, block my Facebook account, they can, I don't know, whatever, whatever. That's why I need to have an alternative, right? If let's say we all use silver, let's say we all use silver to transact. Let's say I don't believe in, in, in the, um, and this, I go to Coles and say, do you want to take my silver coin and pay for my grocery? Some people will take it, it's money. Like if you pay me Bitcoin for my wedding photography, I'll take it. We have a bride pay me for Bitcoin because she, she did not buy her Bitcoin at 5K. So for her, her wedding package is 200 bucks. So, right, and I took the Bitcoin off her. I'm not selling it, right? So win-win. So don't worry about if the government's gonna ban it, the bank gonna ban it, the country's gonna ban it. There's always a way. People will always find a way for their freedom. Okay, so this is actually insurance for freedom. I, like more than that. I know I'm really passionate. Anyway, let me just keep going through. All right, so it's okay. I just keep going through quickly the five way of um, losing money. Mismanaging. Okay, lose the wallet. Forget the password. Forget the back. Uh, no backup. Type the wrong address. Uh, phishing email. So when you do it, there's a whole process. A whole process to when you set up. Right. Okay. For for me. I use Pronto email, I use VPN, I use Brave Browser, I never use the same password, never use the same uh, email address, I have a separate email address. Um, I write it down, back up and back up and back up. I laminate those, those, those um, words, laminate them, um, and then I put it in many places around the world. So not just me, okay, and everywhere. For, uh, for a while, I have like 100 fake wallets. So what I did was I, I printed like 100 or 200 fake wallets, and then I only put like 0 0.0005 into each wallet. It is, it's a long process, it took me two days, okay? It took me two days, but then peace of mind. It took me two days, I was putting into like 30 wallets, and then I have like 100 of fake ones lying around. Why? Because if the, uh, 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 a thief come to my house, I literally can give him 100 wallet. He has to scan 100 times to find like 500 bucks. And he'll be like, oh, too hard. He will just go to someone who forget about the password and then just get, to Bitcoin out of someone. So if you want to get Bitcoin out of me, every wallet of me is like no, lot, no more than 200 bucks. Yeah, anyway, so that, so that whole process to it, I am freak. And every time I do any buying big, big transaction, I offline, I off my Wi-Fi mode, I off my modem, there's a whole bunch of security, okay? I am crazy about security. And um, second one is getting scammed, getting scammed. So Bitcoin is just beginning. There's a thousand of them, right? How can you find they're not pump, pump and dump? How do you find they're not pyramid scheme? They have pyramid scheme. You give the crypto a bad name, but they are a good company out there, okay? They're always bad people in a good people way. So how can you find them, right? Some people get scammed once and say, oh, the whole crypto is crazy. It's no, not worth it. No, no it just, you just meet some bad people. So, so you know, you, you get broken by a but asshole guy. It doesn't mean all the guys are bad, bad and asshole, right? You just you know, bad luck and, you know, got raped by a bad, bad guy. Anyway, so anyone say I will invest for you, don't do it. For, for some point at the beginning, I did not know. Some, some friend gave me their money. I invest for them, make some money. I almost have to pay for them capital gain tax. And then lucky, I didn't do that many friends. I did it for like less than five friends, right? And then lucky, when they send me the money, when I send them the money, there's a transaction. So I have to prove to my accountant, write the report and say that this money, I did not earn the money. So then I have to pull out all the transaction, pull out everything and then say, okay, this is, you know, this money is from this and da da right? And then my accountant just like, just don't do it. Just don't do it, right? Um, they're not paying me. I'm not charging anything. I will just literally help a friend. So now I don't do it. I teach you how to do it. You do it, right? I don't help you do it. I don't sell for you. I don't, no, don't do it. So if anyone say I'll invest for you, don't do it. 
or well, usually they will have a commission unless you really have the commission, um, but I just don't. And the, the common scam right now is that you send me one, I'll send you two. Don't do it, just don't do it, don't do it, okay? Um, ICO, uh, farming coin, the, the pizza coin, the uh, sushi coin, there are, what's a yam? Right now it's so crazy, don't do that, just don't do it. So what, how you do it is follow your research protocol. I have a whole Excel, a whole questionnaire set up to why not doing research, I take my time to do research. Don't have to do a long time, just follow the protocol. <laughs> buy or not buy. All right, um, avoid the low market cap coin. Um, no robot, okay? If anyone say, Nicole Kidman and George Clooney uh, use the, the, uh, the robot and can make me 200 bucks a day, don't do it, the scam, don't do it, okay? Um, long story short, I, I, there's a whole thing of it, don't do it. And making costly investment decision, emotion, emotion. Buy high, sell low, panic sell, listen to the, the story, buy the sell, buy the news, oh my God, Trump win, gonna crash, you're gonna sell, oh my God, Biden win, gonna crash, you're gonna sell, don't do it. Um, speculation because you don't have a strategy in place. So you do it in emotion, don't do it. So education yourself, have a longer time frame, and aware and watch the market every day. I watch the market every day, two hours. Like, I, I just, I love it. Um, number four, not having the investment strategy in place. So what happened was that I asked, I told one of my, um, uh, what my dear friend last year to buy. I've been telling her for years and then she just ignored me, right? So anyway, so she was in Hong Kong and she was so scared. And her whole, so basically Hong Kong had some political issue last year. Um, we were rioting and protesting and she had two children. So her family was so scared. She lived in a fear-based anyway. So she's a fear-based person. She was so scared. So her whole family moved to Taiwan because she's like me. She's also half Taiwanese. So she moved to Taiwan, the whole family. And then she had to sell a house and then buy. So I told her to buy some Bitcoin, buy some silver so you can you know get out, right? So she listened to me. She bought some Bitcoin and now it's gone like triple the money. And now she's like, what's well, triple now? Should I sell? Should I buy? And she asked me a whole bunch of questions. Those questions is telling me that she had no idea what she was doing. And if she, if she just sell it right now, she's going to regret big time. Anyway, so strategy. So now she's become a client. She's like, okay, just teach me. Now I'm going to go join your program. Just teach me properly. Um, so know your insurance strategy, entry point, exit plan, time frame, risk tolerance. Know that. And how do you allocate funds? Don't go all in. How do you buy? How many steps? When you sell, are you selling every 10% when you go every 10%? What's your ultimate um, goal for the next cycle peak? And how do you get there? How do you sell it? How do you get the capital back? How can you remove your risk? There's a whole strategy in, in Excel, just in Excel. Or missing opportunity. So I know many people frozen by fear, in action, paralyzed by overpowered, no account set up. So my father-in-law, apparently he has been watching the Bitcoin for years. He still never get anyone, any. So he's been watching the Bitcoin for years since it was a, I don't know, 1,000. Now it's like 15, now it's 21,000. And so I literally gave him an Excel. So what I did was I gave him an Excel. I pretend that he, so paper trading. So I pretend that he put 100K in it, or not less than that. I think I, I was pretending 20K, whatever his number, Excel. And he was watching, 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 watching. He still never owned any Bitcoin. And so now he sold his dream house. So um, that's five risk to avoid. Oh, thank you guys. So I'm just like, batching through. Uh, 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 yeah, I can see many, many Bitcoin apps. Don't know which way. Yeah, if you want to do some research, I can tell you how, but probably not now because I'm already like, over time. So investment strategy, I'm going to go really quickly now because um, we don't have time. Uh, so now, do not fall falling into the day trading trap because you will lose sleep, sleep. People will tell you they make money. Yes, people make money, but you will lose sleep unless you, you like it. Unless you find yourself glued to the computer, glued to the chat, have candlelight dinner, you know what I mean, pun intended. So when you have the candlelight dinner, at one point I was like that, I was literally glued and looking at the chat, right? I don't wanna do it anymore. It means you have invested too much that you can't afford to lose. That's why you will be like glued to the chat. So just remember, we are, like any market, stock market, share market, anything, are speculation. So we, we trade in emotion. The market is about emotion, sentiment, okay? So you need to have a strategy in place, otherwise you'll be like, oh my God, ah! right? Just don't do it. So um, don't become like a, a, a day trading, unless you want to, but a lot of the day trader out there will tell you how they make a week's salary in an hour. 
and showing off their Porsche Tesla, right? But they didn't tell you is that when they also sometimes lose a week salary with one click. So as a trader, they basically means they may make 10 trade a day or 25 trade a day, as long as in the end, they make more winning trade than losing trade, then they make money. It literally, essentially, it's like gambling, but with the technical things. So not because gambling is by luck. Trading, it has strategy. You have skill, but it's a massive. You're gonna look at the math. You're gonna look at uh, like a sci-fi. You're gonna look at the yeah money flow. And I've done it before. So it takes years of experience. I know someone that make money, really good money in trading. He literally he follow American time. So he's living in Australia. He wake up at, um, he go to bed at 6 a.m. because he trading from 3 p.m. to 6 a.m. American time. But he like it because he's like, this is my meditation. So unless you're like that guy, kind of guy, have like, he has, yeah, he has screen everywhere. That's his job. He's really nerdy, right? So it takes strong mindset, discipline, and experience and emotional regulation to do, be able to be a successful day trader, right? And so tip number one as well, or two or three, is do not borrow money. Do not borrow money to trade. Never, never, never. Just don't. Um, do not do leverage trading. Do not do margin trading. Do not time the market. Okay? Just not now. Like, that's level two shit. Right now, don't do it. Um, take full control of your financial future, but educate yourself. Learn it first before you even trying to learn the, the hard stuff. So there's a whole Wall Street shit shit. It just work all the time. Every, every market, gold market, silver market, stock, um, Tesla, Apple, all have this thing and Bitcoin. So do not listen to the crypto expert on YouTube. Just don't do it. I, so I've been through five years, right? So I've been through the last cycle. There were thousands of so-called YouTube guru giving advice back in the ICO day. I follow a few bunch of them. They disappear. They're no longer there anymore. They're gone. Okay. So big no, no, don't listen to them because, well, don't even listen to me. Uh, but because I really can't tell you how many times I've seen those video about the next thousand X coin. And then they will tell you why it's going to go a thousand X, right? Two reasons why I don't listen to it. Because number one, sometimes this YouTuber simply get paid to promote a new coin. My inbox, people come to say to me, do you want to do affiliate? If you use my affiliate link and promote my product, I'll pay you this money, right? So I, I get that too, yeah? I'm not even a YouTuber, right? Um, so some of them, they get paid to, to tell you shit. So it's their marketing money, okay? And also in the bull market, in the bull market right now, we're in the bull market, almost every coin will boom. We're moon, we call it we're moon, moon Lambo, we buy a Lambo and then we call the moon. So because Bitcoin is booming. So understand Bitcoin is the whale. Bitcoin is a massive whale. When Bitcoin go up, all the little fish go up. And then when Bitcoin crash, all the little fish gonna crash because it's an ocean. We follow the whale. So Bitcoin is heavy, it's low, but it's safe, right? So in August this year, I saw we saw the DeFi, the DeFi the DeFi was a decentralized finance coin booming like 400% a week or a day. Like Derek bought some, right? Derek, you just say, fucking hell, you, you bought what's that? Meme coin. You bought meme coin. How much did you make? Like, it was, what did you say to me? I can't remember. Yeah, you bought meme coin. Oh my God, I can't believe you bought meme coin. And also Derek, yeah, 2K, yeah. And, um, and then you have the Uniswap, and the Uniswap just give you free, free, free airdrop. So you have literally $4,000 worth of free uni, Uniswap. This, this world is crazy. So, but remember, like even I, back in the ICO day, remember I told you I bought like 20 old coin, right? I was like glued to the, I was glued to the, the computer. And, but um, I make some of the coin, like Civic and Neo, um, I remember because it was an Anche, and then I bought, before it become Neo, it just boom, 5X. So I put $1,000 in, well, I put $5,000. So I put $5,000 in and they just get me 20K in a week, but then they crash, okay? So I lost a lot of money. Um, but overall, I make money, but mistake, mistake. So I don't lose money, but you know, I could have done better. So because I did not have a strategy in place, I did not get out fast enough. I did not know how, how would they go up and down. I have no idea. Um, and I did not know how to harvest, harvest. That's so important. When do you take profits? 
how do you take profit? I did not know. I was just holding on, holding on for dear life. It's got, we got hold on, H-O-D-L, called holding on for dear life. So I was a holder. I was just holding on and then like marrying the coin. I did not know you're going to get out. Um, which, you know, most of them crashed actually. Like one of the coins that I bought back in the day is called OMG. OMG crashed, big time, horrible. Um, finally, right now, I'm almost broke even in three years because I did not get out. But OMG, when I bought it, it boom. I did not have this enough and then it crashed. Yeah, hold on. Um, so yeah, old season come and go and they follow the big brother. So don't get too excited yet. This space is not as regulated too much as well. That's why a lot of scams happening doesn't mean they're all bad. It's just because sometimes when you have a new company, new startup, you're gonna give them time and nurture, right? You're gonna, a new company can just crash. Doesn't mean they're scam. It just means they're bad management, they got no cash flow, or they got no customer, or they have COVID hit, or whatever, whatever, right? So it doesn't mean this project are bad. So there's a whole protocol that I use to, to spot a good one. Um, so yeah, uh, don't get too excited. Um, that's why you need to know what you're doing. Follow the, the protocol safely. Checklist before you invest any money into any company, right? So yeah, including me. Don't take everything that I say to you without training, right? That's why I do the training after that. Because the world is created by your own money belief and your subconscious programming. You need to know how your emotion works and how your brain works and how your thinking works because I can tell you literally buy, sell, this and that. If you don't even know how you work, you, can, you will still sell and, and buy in the wrong time and wrong place, right? It's still you, at the end it's your emotion. So um, yeah, just be careful. Now I'm almost at the end. Thank you for sticking with me. Now, whew, um, yeah, wealth transfer. So there are ways to put your plan into autopilot mode. Right, so it will help you to remove your emotion from your e from the equation. Again, emotion will come up. I'm telling you, when you start a business, when you start a new job, when you start anything new, when you start dating someone, when you start marrying someone, emotion will come up because you never done it before. You never start business before. You've done a new job before. You never invest before. You never done this stuff before. Emotion will come up. Right? How you got? How you embrace the emotion and obstacle is the skill. Because I can literally tell you, but now you will still lose money, I'm telling you. So how can you choose the right asset as well, right? Because I do not go all in because I'm safe. So what, what you do is that how can you create a wealth creation plan that in the background, knowing that it's safe, like imagining you go about your day, you do your stuff. You know that this wealth creation machine is working behind the scene in the background in the safest manner possible, right? So as I say, I have different location, uh, fund allocation for air free strategy. So if deflation, I'm okay. If it's inflation, I'm okay. If it's hyper inflation, I'm okay, right? So every situation you have a plan. That means it will place you in the middle of the storm. You are not gonna go suck out to the chaos to the storm and go tear apart because you are in the middle of the eye of the storm watching the world goes by, right? So it's like you're watching the highway and you meditation in the middle and you just chill and calm knowing that you have plan, plan A, plan B, plan C in place. So if anything fail, you have seven stream of income stream. So as I say, I, I lose my wedding this year, fine. I lose my, um, the, the music industry job this year, fine, right? And then I go, go do coaching. So I'm not like here whinging and crying and complaining because I have all this stuff in place. Um, so choosing the right asset and then getting in and out from your portfolio is the key as well. Are you diversified and have fun allocation blueprints all set up for your passive income roadmap, right? So how I was doing is that I was buying stocks and house and then I get out at some certain point and then I buy Bitcoin and I might have some cash somewhere um, back up and then I have gold and silver somewhere back up and then when the stocks and house high I sell them and then I buy Bitcoin when Bitcoin go high I sell Bitcoin when I sell Bitcoin you sell it to something I don't sell it for cash I sell it to buy house that's why I did the housing so I sell the Bitcoin to buy house because house is cheap I sell the Bitcoin to buy stocks because stocks are cheap 
That's why I bought this house because it was cheap. My father in law sell it to me. I had this, I had to buy it, right? So I saw my Bitcoin, even though that wasn't the high, it was maybe here. But I knew that was a cheap house and it will go up. So, you know, you're going to make a decision, have to plan. And people, so let's say that, um, I sold that house in um, Christmas Eve. People were like, oh my God, that's so crazy. Don't do it. I'm like, no, I, I calculated it. My house in Brunswick is not going to go double in the five years' time. Never. Will not. When I sold it, I already made the profit. I already made six figure for profit into that house. If I hold on to it, but in 11 years, I hold on to the house for 11 years. It's a long, yeah, the ROI is not good. So basically, the ROI after all the stamp duty, the tax, the, the bank fee, the lawyer fee, I, I, I take homes tiny and it's so long to liquidate. So to, to find a buyer, it takes a month. If you sell Bitcoin, it's a finger, a, a click. You can sell it tomorrow. You can say, wait now. To sell a house, you, you, you're going to go through the whole process, right? Clean the house and shit and, you know, go to open public, whatever. So have your strategy in place. The house is still really good, good um, investment. So I'm, I'm still buying houses. I still have houses right now, right? So how do you allocate that and ready? Some people cash out in gold and they have planned how to cash out in gold or how to cash out in silver, right? How, when, why, why? Know that. So, whew. <laughs> How's that sitting so I just math through the last like five slides. Uh, yeah. All right, so um, we're in the end. I'm just gonna show, I do have a program. I'm not gonna sell you right now, but I'm just quickly tell you, I do have a five weeks program. If you do wanna join, um, um, actually, I will put um, alignment call um, survey here. Put in this questionnaire. Tell me, because I don't want to take everyone. I want to be really protective of who I'm in, who let into my mastermind group. Um, some of you are already in the mastermind group, so you're already in there. So it's bonus for you. Um, so what you get, you get one-on-one -on -one with me to map out your investment strategy. Because not everyone wants to do it in the public school, uh, public setting, right? Because you're going to tell me all your shit and I'm going like, to tell you all your shit, right? So you need the one-on-one. -on -one -on -one to really figure out, okay, what's your income flow? What's your risk tolerance? How much is your mortgage? How much is your plan? What are you doing? Are you in super? Are you in, like, there's a whole bunch of things. I can't just like literally tell you that, right? It's depending on the person. As I say, I have client the 65. Their, their plan is so different than, than Derek, right? So one-on-one -on -one coaching. So, and also I need to know your emotion, your money mindset, because <laughs> most of the time, the first session is money wound. They cry. So I don't know, somehow they were just have traumatized and they cry. Um, oh, I think I'm, my, my, my link is not sending. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? Oh, there. There's a there's questionnaire to fill it in. Um, you will get the live group coaching. So it's a new thing. I'm gonna do it every, uh, every Sunday. Crash course. I'm gonna do two hours every Sunday, five, five weeks, just get it done and tell you all the, the actual thing that I'd say to you before. I didn't have time to, to actually dig deeper. Um, so step by step to help you mastering your crypto journey. You will also be into my mastermind club. So you have the three months of membership for that, which in there you actually have. So every Friday morning I have the business group coaching where I teach people how to launch the business. So if you want active income, which how to launch your active income. So let's say you're a light worker, you're an artist, you're a coach, you're a teacher um, or meditation teacher. How can I launch your business? That's every Friday morning. And then this, this Sunday is a different thing, which is a bonus for you. And so you're going to get the mastermind group membership and the work, workbooks and the coaching. And then I'm going to give you the ebook, which I haven't finished yet. Sorry, I'm just being honest with you. Because I want to know your question and problem. And then I can fine tune. I'm almost done but I want to know what works best for you, what you need to know, what you want to know, then I put it in the ebook. And so you can have that at the end that you know you can forever go back and do all the checklists, all the templates, all the workbook, um, the, the protocol, how you find your 100x coin, how do you do your fund allocation, how to do your budgeting, how do you, um, pre so you have a plan. What, what, how much price you put it in, how much, fun you're willing to put it in how is you going to put it in because you're not going to put it in, in, in one go so i have this client she know that she will she knows she have 100k but she's not going to put 100k in it so we work with her how do you slowly put her money in and that for her to feel safe because she's a business owner 
and she she's a hardworking business owner, so she's not gonna gamble. So we have a step by step to like she understands she can do 100k right now, but then she also knows she will not sleep well. She will look at the chat every day, and it will affect her business because then she will be like thinking, oh my god, what if today's price or the price? Like she'll go crazy because she already did crazy. Um, so yeah, what happened was we, we we get her testing. So she put a tiny bit amount to test, and then the money go up and down, and she already said, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I'm like, this is a hundred bucks. You're already like panicking. Imagine you put hundred k, you will lose sleep. Right, so um, pull it in the in the um, fill it in the questionnaire, just so I know I want to know your your challenge, your goals, so I can help you with that. So the first step is to fill in the questionnaire, and I'll give you a call next week, and then we'll find out are you are you good with it? Like, because I don't want to sell you something that you don't need. I also want to know, um, so I'm not just going to sell you. I, I, we, we just want to get a match. If you need the course, then you know, I'll tell you how. But if, if, if I think that you know, you're, you're not ready, some of my clients I say no to now because I'm like, actually, you're not, not a right time for you to invest. Some of my clients that they, they, they actually pay the deposit, I refund to them because they, they literally need to survive. They need to get their financial wealth back first and they need to get a job basically um so yeah say no so i don't want to sell you something that you don't need and and i want to work with you together and see what you need and if the, the chinese people here i speak chinese so that's a one-on-one -on -one. um but the live training so sorry for now it's english um i really want to make a, a chinese um group um, i'm thinking if if you guys can i don't know have six people then i can just open the Chinese one for you guys. Um, and also this is a small, small group. I just want, I don't know, four people maybe. I don't want that many people as well because I, I want to really, it's, far, it's crash course. I want to be like, make sure that I just give you all the energy before Christmas so you know. Because I think something gonna happen in Christmas time, in the Feng Shui time, there's some kind of earthquakes coming, um, maybe 21st of December. I don't know what, I don't know how. Some people think it's a political, the rioting, um, the politics shit. Um, some people think it's the economy thing because we are now putting bandages on. And it, depending on the stimulus check or the mortgage forbearance. So some people think it could be a financial earthquake. Some people think it's literally earthquake like in California. And so I want to be prepared you guys to set it up. No, and if the earthquake's coming, you're safe. If it doesn't come, Good, because I don't want it to come, right? So some people think, well, crypto, Bitcoin can go to 100K next year. Yes, Bitcoin can go to 100K next year, but it actually also means the world is in shit. So in a way, I don't want Bitcoin to go 100K next, next year because it means more suffering and horrible shit is going to do in the world to make people flat the money to Bitcoin and gold and silver. That's why they will go up, right? So in a way, I don't want to, but if it happened, I'm safe. Oh, I just over time a whole uh, hour. Any question before we off? You wanna unmute yourself? Anyone raise a hand? Ask me something. Ah, oh, Colin says interesting. English says thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, guys. Dean will go to toilet too. We just stay here <laughs> three hours. We're drinking this whole mint tea. Julia, Prab. hello, Ina. Yeah. Quick, just I, I'm just looking for a quick answer. Um, are you buying coins in a trust or a company? Good question. Both. So yeah, again, I I work with the, the tax accountant. I cut a whole amount of tax because everything I bought before was under my name, right? So I paid massive amount of tax. So what I did was that I worked with him, and then we set up a trust, and then now we allocate. Yeah, different things. So once again, tax purposes, purposes as well. Um, so yeah, I'll teach that, teach that in the course. So yeah, uh, both. I have trust and I have personal. So the money that I just give you from my personal, it just, I'm just a universe giving you some money. Yeah, not lost to know Julia say, yeah. So I, I hope this crash course is, is it too overwhelming or too easy or too crazy? Or like, I, I want to know. Can, can, and any more questions? Do you want to raise hand and ask? Oh, I'm still here. 
Um, I thought it was great, uh, but the last two nights I have been reading up a bit more on Bitcoin and stuff. So it's just built on, on that. So thank you. I gotta go. Bye, Maya. Thank you. Because I, I know you make 25%. <laughs> I knew that. I told you, right? Anyway. But thank you, Maya, for that. The, well, the, the thing is, right, I already in Bitcoin 2015, I already bought a house with it. And I still pay the 10K for my mentor. Because when actually, the more you learn, the more you realize, the more you didn't know. It's like I, when I opened up my spiritual journey, I'm like, shit. Once I realized I'm a spiritual spirit in the human body, and like, fuck, there's a whole crystal, Akashi record, and NG healing, and tarot cat, oral cat. Like, there was a whole heap open up for me. Um, so, it's same as Bitcoin. Bitcoin just like the first thing. Um, and there's, again, million ways you can make money. How do you do business? How do you launch your business? Especially the night, like, night worker here, or artists here, light worker, artists, creative people, they have this limiting belief about. I should not charge money. Some of them say to me, one of my clients said to me, she, her, her purpose is to serve God. So she, she's with Centrelink and she's been coaching pro bono. She never charged anyone because she thought I'm on Centrelink so I can coach people for free because God doesn't want me to have money. I'm like, no, who, who say that? Which kind of God say you need to have money, right? Um, yeah, so... The more I learn and dig deeper this rabbit hole, the more I'm like, oh, that's such a more And um, educate yourself. And the thing is, I don't tell you which one to buy and how to buy. I mean, or I can't tell you how to buy. Um, but like the, which old coin to buy, right? Because the old, the season will keep come and go. There'll be a next, next cycle. So let's say this cycle, you don't have enough money, right? You can do it for the next cycle. And then the next cycle will have another next boom. It, it always repeats because it's emotion. Um, so I want to teach you the blueprint. How do you look for your old coin? How do you do your strategy? And so, yeah. Um, yeah, Fiona said, thank you. Very good. Some useful info on the last day. <sighs> All right, then. I can see everyone saying, what the fuck? And um, I will leave you to it and put, put it in the, in the group, the Facebook group, the Conscious Money group, uh, what your key learning are um, or any question you can probably ask it in the group because it's beneficial if you ask in the group and then I can answer. Unless you want to work with me at one-on-one -on -one or join this program, then you can message me. So yeah, thank you for the class. And yeah, key learning, what did you earn, learn, put in the chat and uh, yeah. I will let you guys go.